Hi guys, it's Kat, and today we're gonna do a makeup transformation of someone with the coolest hands ever, and that is Wolverine from X-Men. There's a new Wolverine movie coming out called Logan, where he has a daughter, and it looks so cool and awesome, and I can't wait to see it because Wolverine has always been one of my all-time favorite X-Men characters. So today we're gonna try to turn into Wolverine, AKA Logan. Logan is played by the heartthrob Hugh Jackman, who's gorgeous. Especially in the movie, he looks so much more older, but I'm doing the more traditional Wolverine in the other X-Men movies. How I remember him, because I haven't seen the movie. So let's see if we could turn into him today, and let's get started with the makeup transformation. First, I'm putting my hair in a wig cap to secure my natural hair down before we put some fake hair on my actual head of a wig because unfortunately, I do not have the short, manly cut hair of Logan Wolverine with his flippy sides and it's so cute and adorable. Once you have this weird fishnet wig cap on your head and secure it down with some bobby pins, we are gonna get some makeup primer. I'm just using a Marc Jacobs one. It's super fancy. You don't have to spend this much on makeup primer, but my skin's super sensitive, so this is one of the few ones I could use. Then I'm gonna get some corrective colors. I'm using my Graftobian palettes today, and they are one of my absolute new favorite makeup products. Getting an orange corrector under my eyes first to cancel out all the blueness under there, and then getting a green corrector to cancel out all the redness on my face, around my nose. Because females with their hormones and estrogen tend to get redness around their nose, kind of like they're sick or almost like a clown sometimes, and males don't have as much redness around there most of the time. So we're gonna blend all that out with a baby booty blender. Beauty blender. That little sponge, that's really fancy. That you get damp to blend out all your makeup perfectly. Now I'm getting another Graftobian palette foundation color. This is my absolute new favorite foundation for set makeup. It looks like your real skin and it goes from medium to full coverage. You could probably even do a light coverage. It's super buildable and it lays so nicely. It's not super matte. It's more of a natural finish, almost a satin. Make sure you get that all over your face, over the corrective colors and down your neck and on your ears as well. Then I'm gonna get a concealer. This is just the NARS Creamy Concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids to cancel out all the darkness around my eyes and you wanna get that around your face on spots that need correcting before blending it out again with another beauty blender or any makeup sponge dupe for it. Now it's time to get some cream highlight colors. I am going to look at a reference picture which is super key for this and highlight all the high points on my face that are exaggerated in the picture that bring light and dimension to your face that is gonna make an old age type makeup, give wrinkles and crow's feet around your eyes and a lot of mouth lines. This is also gonna make certain parts of your face stand out because males tend to have more of a brow bone than females do. And then once all those highlight colors are on, we're gonna blend it out a little bit to make it look more natural with another beauty blender. And we're gonna highlight our ears, as weird as that sounds. Hugh Jackman has semi-pointed ears. They're not really pointed, but they stick out on the bottom and then they fade towards the back of his hairline on the tops of his ears. And then I'm gonna get a contour cream color. You want something that's cool tone with a defining brush to paint on your brow, wrinkles and around your eyes, and even contour on the sides of your face because Hugh Jackman's face is a lot more contoured than mine is especially contouring around his eyes and on his nose. Hugh Jackman's nose is a lot different than mine. It's a lot more skinnier. It looks like a Caucasian male. And I've got a baby button Asian mixed girl nose. And contouring the laugh lines was just so key because Hugh Jackman has very prominent, adorable laugh lines. It's what gives his face character. And I'm contouring the top parts on the sides of my forehead, again, because males have much more prominent brow bones and that will make it show more. Contouring the sides of my cheeks and contouring even more on my laugh lines. How many times am I gonna say contour? Because we are also gonna put that same color on our bottom lip to make our lips look smaller and more Americanized because I got some full juicy lips naturally. I am also highlighting the tip of my nose. It's a little bit more wider on Hugh Jackman's nose, so I'm widening my nose with some highlight. Don't forget to blend to make it look more natural again, and getting the contour color to make more crow's feet and wrinkles around his eyes, because I'm in my 20s and Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, is not. 
Make sure you get some translucent powder to powder under your eyes and all the places you crease on your face and powder your entire face around the foundation, all the makeup that you did. Before getting more contour cream and I'm contouring the upper part of my ears, as weird as that sounds, you wanna blend that out as well. And now it is time to get Wolverine's eyebrows on. I'm just using a drugstore eyebrow pencil and drawing in my thicker brows. Luckily, Wolverine's eyebrows aren't that much different than mine. They're not very thick as I thought they would be. But you want to make sure you get a color that matches your natural eyebrow hairs. And you really want to look at your reference picture for this because Wolverine's eyebrows go a little bit towards the center of my face, towards my brow bone a little more than mine does. And then once you have your eyebrows laid down, we are going to get a taupe eyeliner pencil and shadow in under our bottom lash line. Then getting a dark brown, almost black cream paint with a very thin brush and doing a very light liner on the outer corner of our eyes and darkening in certain areas on our brows to make it look more natural. So that's gonna match our wig that we're gonna put on later. Like you actually grew those hairs from your head and not just painted them on like some Crayola marks. Now I'm gonna contour around my nose even more. I really wanna make sure this nose looks semi like Wolverine Hugh Jackman's nose does and contouring on the outer corners of my eyes and blending that out. Now I'm gonna get a cream blush color. First getting an apricot color to lay down on my lips and then getting a more pink tone cream color and laying that on top of it to make my lips look like a human color because right now they look like an alien beige skin tone color that makes me look sick from all the foundation. Now this is optional, you could get some alcohol paint or you could get some cream paint very lightly with the orange stipple sponge. I like these orange stipple sponges for their texture and I cut them to look like a size of a beauty blender and I like to just give my skin some depth and dimension, texture and color, make it look like I have skin damage and maybe some sun tanning on the sides of my face. You could even get that in your laugh lines with a brush as well to make sure that the contour of your laugh lines stand out. You also could do this on your neck to make it match your face and look more natural. And then we are going to powder that all down with translucent powder before getting a cool tone, grayish, almost black cream paint with a black stipple sponge. Again, I'm using this for its texture to stipple on some male stubble facial hair of a mustache. And I'm gonna lay down the template almost, the areas that I'm going to put his beard and paint it on. Once you have the areas of his sideburns and beard that you're gonna paint on, I just got a disposable one of those brush wands for like your eyelashes, that's in mascara tubes. These are totally worth buying. You can buy them disposable at like Sally's Beauty Supply. I just dipped that in some black tone, dark brown, almost black cream paint and made the little hair marks on my face of all the beard work and stipple of his face. This is just so much easier than making a whole crepe wool beard and sideburn situation, which I could totally do in this video, but I wanna make this so that everybody could learn how to do a male makeup transformation without buying crepe wool, hurting yourself with a hackle giant comb to make fake wool hair beards. Let me know if you want a video on how to make fake beards and sideburns. I could totally do that for you. Now just powdering out all that facial hair paint we painted on our face and getting one of my all-time favorite bronzers. This is Benefit's Hula Bronzer and bronzing up my face, making it darker and look more suntan and worn. On the sides of my face, my forehead, and even near my bridge of my nose. And getting more contour cream with a thin paintbrush to make more wrinkles around the eyes because I feel like we lost it with the layers of makeup that we've been putting on. And when you're done with all the contouring and paint, it is time to put on a wig. Now with my wig, I'm doing a little DIY project here. The wig I'm gonna use today is the one I used for my Olaf makeup transformation of an old man gray tone wig, but we are gonna paint it with this brown paint. This brown spray paint for her hair is really cheap. You can find it on Amazon or any Halloween store. And we're just gonna put a layer of that all over the wig. Make sure you cover all of the gray areas. I'm laying some napkins down to make sure the paint doesn't get all over my red plastic head that I make ball caps on, but it ends up getting on there anyways. And it almost looks like a ginger hair color on camera, but I promise you it's brown in real life. On camera, it looks like Ed Sheeran's hair tone. 
But once you have all of that gray painted brown, we are gonna move on to a darker color with some black spray paint and layer it on top of the brown to make it look more like a natural dark brunette male wig or hair piece. I wonder if Donald Trump paints his lace front wigs this way. I'm just curious. And once you have both the colors sprayed on the wig and it completely dries, we're gonna get a wide tooth comb or whatever comb you use to tease hair. And we're gonna tease the sides to make it have that flippy side that Hugh Jackman Wolverine has. As you can see, we've had Hugh Jackman Wolverine Logan's picture on the side to just admire and of course use as reference. And once you have the hair stylized, we are gonna paint more of the colors on. Layering the brown again with some black paint because after we styled it, you could totally see some of the gray a little bit. And we're gonna let that completely dry before we put it on our head. Adjust it to however you want. I know Hugh Jackman, Logan, Wolverine has a shorter forehead than I do. But once you have that on, we are gonna put a faux leather jacket on with this westernized shirt that I've been wearing throughout the video that I just got in the men's section at Target. And this is totally optional and could be completely dangerous if you're not of age or have a parent around, but I got some kitchen knives. You could totally buy one of those huge Wolverine hand spikes as props online, but they are very dangerous looking. So I just use kitchen knives, which is probably just as dangerous. But I'm gonna put them between my fingers. And with that, we're completely done with our Wolverine makeup transformation in celebration of how excited I am to see the new movie, Logan. Again, in the movie Logan, he looks a lot older, but I just wanted to pay tribute to Wolverine in his heydays. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup transformation, but sadly, I have to turn back into myself, which kind of sucks sometimes, because this was so much fun. Please do not stab yourself with any real knives or fake knives. If you do not have real knives, or if you're way too young to have real knives, I would suggest getting some foil and making your own Wolverine sharp claws coming out of your hands. It'd be so genius if you could do that and turn out so cool. But all the products I used in this video will be listed down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me today. If you do this makeup or any makeups from my YouTube channel, please post it on your Instagram account and tag me hashtag catsketch. I love giving shout outs to people who do any makeups for my videos. You can subscribe for more makeup transformations like this or even cooler ones. There's a lot more stuff coming up ahead. I wish I could tell you more, but there's amazing cool projects coming up. I'm so excited. You can follow me on all the social media and stalk me. I'm everywhere. And I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.